Okay, so <clears throat> when you pull the rings out of the packet, you're going to get three compression rings, a uh, thick foil scraper, and then two smaller uh, oil control rings. These are the oil control expanders. And uh, again, I always refer to my manual, and this has a really good uh, write-up on uh, how to install them. So make sure you lube the rings up. Um, these two compression rings go on the bottom, so these two slots here. And then the top one is a thicker fire ring, and it's black on the top and shiny chrome on the bottom and the black side goes up. Uh, there's dimples on all the rings. Dimples are always up on these on the 53 series and the big uh, scraper oil control ring has a up written right on it so you can't make a mistake. These you want to set so the hooks are pointing down from the dome. So we'll, um, we'll install some rings here. You see some guys doing uh, rings without ring pliers, but you can do that. I used to do rings like that, but now I use the, the ring pliers. I just find it's uh, easier to control the ring. Your fingers don't slip with all the oil. So you just expand these out. Of course, careful not to break them. Just gently bring them down. <clears throat> so that's the, the bottom ring. That's the top set. Control oil control ring expanders. So these have to be pointing away from the dome, these two pointy bits. So that's the first one. Second one. Mm. 
Another thing you want to do is just run, once you get them on, run them around and make sure they're not overlapping. Because if they're overlapping, you can you can break uh, break your ring. These bottom scrapers can be installed by hand. And I put the expander gap on the other side of the piston. So ring A and B have to be 180 degrees apart from one another. So the manual says align top ring and third ring 180 degrees from the second ring. So here's the uh, ring gaps for the first and third and then the second ring over there 180 degrees out. Some guys stagger them, but I'm just going to follow what the manual says. Okay, I set you down, and the next step is uh, to put the piston in the liner. Uh, this is the ring compressor used on Detroit's. The particular 53 series is a Kent Moore J6883-01. And it's basically a tapered cylinder and it has little grooves here that lock into the liner and you, you bottom load the liner with that. So we'll set you down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like that, okay. So we load the compress so we load the uh, ring compressor first. I've lubricated both the compressor and the uh, liner so the pistons slip in nicely. And then I'm just going to double check, make sure everything's free here. And I've set the rings in correctly. If you don't put the rings in correctly, obviously, you get very poor results. So just gently push her down. Okay. 
now once you've got the ring compressor the piston to the bottom you can see there now and we put the piston in the liner want to make sure that that is in the groove and then we just keep going down gently. Once the rods at the end of the compressor, the pistons in the in the liner. Piston in the liner now. And go right to the bottom. <clears throat> so now the piston's basically top dead center, and that's how we're going to load it into the engine. There we go. So the next step for this is to put the bearing shells on it, uh, lube the outside with uh, vegetable oil, and then slip it into the, um, the engine. So I'll do a video on that. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe and hit the like button below, and um, bring it back when we put these liners into the engine. Thanks for watching and take care.